quiet on set. That's just a punch in the face. And judging Amy, all this and more on today's Brilliant Observations. Do, 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 do. So sad that you hate to be called Missy. Hello, Melissa. How are you? I do like that you put an R on the end of my name. I don't hate it. I don't hate anything anymore. I am peace, oh. love, and joy. I'm here for it. Until I'm I get on this it. podcast and I'll tell you everything I ate. Um, no, I'm here for it. I'm here for peace and love and joy. I went to, of the many irritants that I did just today, I went to Sephora. Totally unsatisfying visit to Sephora. They weren't able to solve the problem that I had. And both people commiserated with me and said, yeah, I feel like you're getting screwed. I'm so sorry. I wish I could help you. And there's nothing we, we can this do? did to you. Oh, no. Yes. So while I was waiting to have these conversations, the woman, the checkout woman, the teller, whatever you call her, cashieress was there. <laughs> and I heard her chatting with the woman you have this, you have this many points and you can pick out. So I zoned out while she was rattling off all the things a woman could get as her freebies with all of her points. And she goes, and it is critically important that you keep positive thoughts in your brain at all times, because if you have negative thoughts, they show on your face and cause wrinkles. And I was like, wait a minute, what? Like I, <laughs> I was like, are what, you what? hitting me? No. And so I thought, what did I miss? What are the points for that? Like it was, I was very surprised. So I was like, but burp, she's burp, right what? up your alley, though. I she's just, right. Uh, she's yeah. And she super didn't help me at all. <laughs> and here's what happened. I when stopped I went keeping in there, good thoughts in my mind is what happened. I went in there at some point in December, which is the last time I was in there. I'm very rarely to never in there. I would t I, if you told me I had not been in there in the past year, I would have believed you. I was in there in December. I wanted to get replacement under eye concealer, which is makeup that I use. Right. They didn't have it, the particular brand, the particular shade. They put me on a different brand and a different product. And lo and behold, the thing that they sold me into was completely wrong Slavery? to accomplish the oh. task that I wished. Okay. It was not only the wrong product, it was, so it would never accomplish what I wanted. It was also the wrong color. So even oh, if it was the right product, yeah. it was like double twice wrong. Okay. And it was $83. Okay. So, and I've just tried and I've, it was Gucci. So I've tried and I've tried and I've tried and I've tried. And every time I'm like, I'm just doing this wrong. So I brought it back today and I said, I don't know what your return policy is. And she said, oh, it's X, Y, Z and up and down and blah, 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 blah. Eh. It's been too long. I can't do anything for you. I'm so sorry. I said, that's a real shame because when I came here, I was sold into this product that I didn't want because you didn't have the product I wanted. Is there nothing you can do? I'm so sorry. I, that doesn't seem right to me at all. I wouldn't have. And that's when they explained to me what you asked for. You didn't not only didn't get the solution we gave you created a new problem. Oh, like they just, so I went over to the other counter and I said, I, I'm past the window. Is there anything that you can do? Tips, tricks? What can you do for me? She tried to commiserate. She's like, I can, uh, at this point, all I can have you do. She's like, yeah, they did you wrong. And I'm like, well, it was, it, it was, was someone you who did me wrong. You. Yeah. It was one of you. And she's like, that ain't right. I feel bad. That's terrible. And she's like, I would take X product and Y product and blend them together and face South and then pray to the God of makeup crystallines. Bend I'm over. Like, yeah. I'm like, Hun and she, then and she, after you bend over, keep she said here's, thoughts in your head. She said, here's the thing Oy. for me to really show you how this would work. The only thing I, it's going to take a long time. You're going to have to sit down and I'm going to have to charge you $15, but you'll get like a half an hour consultation and I'll show you how to do this and this and this. And I'm just looking at her and she goes, I, I don't want to do that to you. But at the same time, this product is worthless otherwise. And I'm looking at her and I'm starting to say the things that I don't usually say. Because a filter stops you? An internal no, filter? No, I, I started saying that just the illegal things. I started saying, there's no way we can't just drop this in the drawer and you can hand me something else. <laughs> And, and she went, no, nah. <laughs> right? I mean, this, this can't just become your new tester. Oh, so, $80 and she went, though. She and looked at me and she went, no, nah. like she thought, <laughs> how can I do it? What can I do? What is worth my job to make this happen for this lady who we fabooled so doodled. Right. Anyway, I don't even know why I started telling you my Sephora story. Cause it was a story gone bad, but it came on the heels of 
another story I did want to tell you, which is I even added it to the board late. Is this so that you, may you not did know not steal this week? I did steal. I didn't steal at Sephora or the Harris Teeter. And I super should and could have. Well, I kind of stole. But I didn't, I didn't. Okay, I didn't, dear listener, no, here no, it comes. No, 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 no. That's not. Well, I mean, I, I guess technically I did, but I, I really didn't. I mean, I didn't. I, the what whole story was, was about the item that wound shit. up in your car. The story, <laughs> the story I'm telling is that I didn't steal. I really didn't steal. But I now that I think about it, I super did. But if I didn't, it, stop it. I <laughs> Tell damn it. Tell, you're already a confessor. Just fess up. I want to take it back. I right, will not edit happen. this out. Go. Fuck me. <sighs> Over the weekend, Harris Teeter. I'm all in. Is yeah. Our supermarket here. Sure is. It is. It is. I think it's in the Kroger family, if Great. I'm guessing. So for those who may have heard of Kroger, if you've heard of the Piggly Wiggly, we have stupid names for supermarkets. It's a big supermarket. It's a well-known chain that is fully stocked. In our city, there's, I'll guess there's 10 of them, right? I mean, there's lots, right? There's a gigantic one that is basically like a multi-complex it's there's apartments attached to it like it's humongous we call it the Taj Mateeter so <laughs> I went I, I love went, that I went to the Taj Mateeter for my Easter shop fabulous be, we're getting some green grass a basket you can, a ham there's and, more shit yep, there go for all it. of it all of it so they have uh, everything is more there so I went there and I found myself going down the lane as you do of all the lotions and potions so I went through lotion potion aisle and I said, I'm just going to take something to make myself not look so much like a silvery dried fish. And I'm going to put some of these things on my body and be great. Woo! So I picked out two things that were on sale. They're part of the trifecta that maybe you've heard on TikTok. Have you heard of the trifecta? No. Wow. Trifecta is a questionable skincare practice where you take Dial antibacterial hand soap. Go ahead. Gold Bond Diabetic Cream. Yeah. And any retinol of choice. The cheapest one is from Neutrogena. Okay. And you, you wash with the dial, you put the retinol on, and then you put this ridiculously thick salve on top of it, and your skin looks like glass skin in, you know, 18 minutes. So I was over there, and I picked out the Gold Bond whatever. I thought, okay, it's got some nice claims on it, whatever. I didn't get it the other two pieces, but I got a Neutrogena retinol or whatever. The Gold Bond and the Neutrogena, 20-something, 30-something, they were a lot of dollars. When I got up to the register, they were so helpful. They packed my whole bag for me. They carried it out to the car for me. When I got home, I noticed that neither of those products were in my fucking bag, although they were on the receipt. So I was pissed. Oh, no, where are they? What happened? Are they sitting on that little shelf? They are long gone. I called the store immediately and said, you're not going to believe it. And he said, I said, the two most expensive things I bought, he goes, weren't in the cart. And I said, that's, I said, are they there? Have you gotten this call before? (laughs) Are they under the thing? Did they, where did they, and he goes, he, he just said, I am unconcerned. Come back to the store and we will replace them. Just don't even worry about it. And I said, okay. He said, do you want me to drive them out to your house? That's the first thing he said. Okay. Things that don't happen in Pennsylvania for a thousand, Jack. He said, do you want me to drive? This was a Saturday before Easter. He goes, and it was like three o'clock in the afternoon. He goes, do you want, do you want me to have somebody run those out to your house right now? And I said, no, I'm all the way out. I'm, I'm about 20 minutes away from the store, just the way the city works. Right. So I was like, and he went, oh, and I said, so I'm not over there a lot. And he's like, we're happy to do it. I said, no, I wouldn't do that to you. Put it behind the counter for me. Come, come over anytime and we'll just take care of it. I said, okay. So I went in there today. I had didn't write down his name. I didn't say that he was going to do this for me. I braced for impact. How are they going to be? Walked up to the counter. Start to tell my 40-minute story. And instead I thought, just save it. So I walked up to the counter with the receipt. And I said, last time I shopped, two items didn't make it into my bag. But I paid for them. She said, go get them and bring them up. So I did. Wow, that tells thing. me they have such loss and profit margins that they or could. nobody or nobody does this a lot. Like this isn't a thing there. It's not a problem. Do you see what I'm saying? Oh, it could go like, either way. You're saying it's not a it. Well, if it was if it was a chronic if it was being abused chronically, they would have tighter restrictions on this. So I went over. Here's the part where I didn't steal, but then I inadvertently did up ending endings did end up stealing. So I went over there and I picked out the two creams, right? And I read the receipt wrong because one of the creams I did actually end up in my cart. I, the other one. Did. So I got the two that I thought that were on the receipt. 
Yeah, but only it was only twelve ninety nine. But anyway, the other one was missing, so I got it and I brought it up, and she looked at it and looked at me and said, "Thank you." I, I, I didn't do anything. I didn't hand her the receipt. She didn't check the receipt. She didn't open a book. She would you like a bag? That was it. I, out I walked, and I thought to myself, "This is the part where I said I didn't steal," because now I'm like, "This is a great grift. I can go to any teeter and get whatever I want." Right? Just buy something nice and then go get double. So you get a two for one. But I'm not going to do that because I don't steal. I don't take it. I just took that extra bit of the gold bond cream. It was only twelve ninety nine. If but this you know what? is your first time listening to our podcast, oh. this is a special segment we have where Amy brags about shit she didn't steal when in reality it is very hinky and odds are she did just steal a face cream. I don't steal. I don't steal stuff. I don't take and I don't take what's not mine. Interesting. I don't. You're doubling down on that after sharing the story of I thievery. don't take what's not mine, but the, except maybe that one piece of cream, but that also was, was deserved. It was deserved. You know what they wasn't packed deserved? My bag. Uh, I don't know. You know what wasn't deserved potentially? What? There is a trend in Manhattan of Oy. punching girls in the <laughs> face when they are walking and looking at their phones. I have heard. And I thought it was false. Until I heard a person, stupidly that I trust, it's stupid that I trust her, who actually knows someone, a close friend of hers, had this happen to her X number of months ago, 11 months ago. And that person is Savannah Guthrie on the Today oh, Show. Oh, shit. Had a friend literally punched in the face. And I thought, Savannah not going to lie about that kind of shit. And she was a little bit hot telling about it. Okay, so here's the situation. You're a female... You're in New York on the island, Manhattan, walking down the street. I and like now, the island, Manhattan. violence. Right. Popped, out of nowhere. Popped in the head. Now, let me tell you, I fucking hate it when people are walking in Manhattan and looking at their phones. And do I want to punch them in the face? Kind of. But do I do it? No. Opposite of you and stealing, I literally don't do it. I don't steal. Right. That's However, the best drop ever. However, you could put that anywhere and it would still be accurate partially. <laughs> in every I don't episode. steal. <laughs> I don't steal. I don't. I don't steal. I don't steal. Well, they arrested someone. They found from some street cams, they did arrest someone, but I saw seven, eight, nine separate women with eggs on their heads. I thought it was fake. The I really did for a while. It looked so fake. The videos they were posting on TikTok. They were these massive hematomas, like softball-sized, immediate, gigantic cranial welt. And the girls are like, I can't believe I just got hit in the face. And I'm thinking, girl, go to the emergency room. Then, what are you doing? Then your friend, uh, f- your favorite real housewife, got punched in the face, Bethany Frankel. She got punched. Oh. And she Yo, did come a, tic- on. She That's did a, a TikTok job. about it. And she said, I thought it was a thing. It was a joke. It was a, but it happened to me. And I just thought... She was there looking to buy an apartment, and then she thought, New York's too violent. I'm getting the fuck out of here. So Stuart, my husband, said, well, where is she going to go now? I'm like, the Hamptons, where everybody goes. No one about? will take her. I'm, <laughs> right. not, I'm not a fan of hers, and I'm, you know, I don't understand why anybody is being punched. But I also call into question the fact that she was punched because – that's not random. <laughs> <laughs> she came on and said, I know many of you have wanted to punch me in the face before. And I'm here to tell you that it happened. And I thought, yeah. Oh, no, that's awful. That's really Here's awful. Here's what I would like to say. You ready? I, I want to give you that. <laughs> I am ready. That's the stupidest sentence anybody has ever uttered. Really? <laughs> Are you letting us know that you've got intent? Because we're still sitting here wrapped. You have our as attention. opposed to the shit that falls out of your mouth that you had no intention of a- actually uttering. Well, in my case, actually, I yeah. can see <laughs> I can see how both of those things would be true. All right, here's how I would like to frame this anecdotal discussion. Right, we should be saying that men are punching women in the face in New York City. Instead of women are being punched in the face, we should say men are punching women in the face. Men are violently attacking women. Men are committing unprovoked violence. Men are a nuisance on the streets in New York City. Men are attacking innocent victims in New York. All of, we, 
every single time there is violence or uh, trouble against a gal, we always frame it in the context of the gal is the problem. When, and this, this all came to light for me, somebody in Tennessee, I, I have a client in Tennessee, and so they were directly connected to a woman who was running and murdered while she was running, right? And so they do these things, finish the run, all these things. And everybody said, it, she wasn't murdered. We're not going to talk about the safety. run and, and her we're doing not something talk about incomplete. Sa- we're not going to talk about being safe running at 5 a.m. We're not going to talk about don't run alone. We're not going to talk about all those things. We're going to talk about men who murder women. That's what we're going to talk about. Men murdered, a man murdered a woman. She happened to be running. That's She wasn't doing anything yeah, wrong. Yeah, that's not the point of the story, that she was running yeah. at 5 a.m. Walking down the somebody, street, being right. on your phone, being annoying, creating being skin cocktails. Being Bethany Frankel. All right. the things, <laughs> right? You you know, whether or not you are uh, inviting punching doesn't mean that that's how we're going to frame the story. Men committed violence against women in New York City for, un- no, for no reason. Because there's no, why would you? Why would you? And they're disgusting. not going to take it anymore. We locked that fool up. Fuck you, fool. Yeah, they got and you're going to get worse than punched in the face in prison. I'm here to tell you. At Rikers? Oh, oh no. It's bad. I was thinking about former President Donald Trump today and the fact that he will never go to prison. And what might happen if he did go to prison? I was thinking, were he to find himself in the American prison system? Yes. Nothing would happen to him. I think him. I just got a boner. <laughs> I really he do. would. I suspect he'd still have a gold toilet. He'd he have. would. He would still wield this emperor has no clothes power over everyone there. Who has all the power over him? He would still, despite losing nearly a billion dollars or two billion, I haven't kept up in the in the stock market. Will still bounce and float all the way up to the top. I just don't. I don't understand the Kavorka of some folk. And he is a prime example of shit don't stink. Even though it stinks. He floats. Even though it yeah, stinks. Yeah, he always rises to the top. We don't understand how. It's disgusting. Um, but not as disgusting. Yeah, equally as disgusting is the new special that's on, I think, Netflix, Quiet on Set. Have you seen that? I have been following the story that drama happened that had that was unscripted drama that that abuse happened but I gotta tell you I would have bet money that that isn't even a real show I have never heard of it I have never seen it I'm happy to talk to you about this but all of them all of the kitty shows that people are saying we can't have nice things now because Nickelodeon and Disney done us wrong and I keep seeing all these famous people who started on these shows and I'm like how you been a what, what the fuck show is that I will tell you your kids and partially mine like I know a couple of the shows but if your kids miss a year or their birth year doesn't coincide with the hit of the little Einsteins or or whenever this my do- my kids did not bear in the big blue house it just wasn't their year it was that was the year before or at like it just depends so you missed these shows because your kids became savvy sooner yeah. right they were on to the next thing and maybe they were even playing games at that point so with devices or whatever, but I remember the antagonist from this show from when we saw, I want my $2, Better Off Dead. Remember Better Off Dead? He was I the uh, large kid who lived across the street who got the French exchange student, French fries, that we blew up his mother. Um, he was on head of the class as the big guy that sat in the corner. And sure, that was a show that was right up my alley. And to hear that he was wildly inappropriate with staff and children and was way too triggering for me and my past and shit to watch the whole series. But after the first two episodes, when I turned to my husband and said, hey, you are totally welcome to watch this because everyone will be talking about it at work tomorrow. But Melissa can't be here for it. She's going to need to leave. He understood the assignment and turned it off and put on anything else. I had to stop when I saw, I Googled him, Dan Schneider. And yeah, he's a fat dude with curly brown hair, right? And he is, he never, no repercussions for all the things he said and did. 
So he just pitched something else to another network and they bought it. Let's, and let's call it let's call it what it is because I haven't followed it enough to know. Sexual assault? Um, was he a pre- was he a predator? He was a predator. Was this, he separated this abuse, Amanda physical Bynes abuse from her parents, tried to have her emancipated, was her um I, I don't want he was not an adult. His actions were not that of an adult. They were not that of someone protecting these precious children. And when parents did speak out, it was a disaster. OK, it was every reason that people don't speak out is because of cases like this, where when they do, they're like, you're fine. Just be quiet. You want to ruin this opportunity for your kid. It's the Michael Jackson parents. It's the I, I can't anymore. So I had to leave that situation. I understood. I had to leave the situation. Am I getting warm just talking about it now? I'm getting angry. Um, But I couldn't watch it knowing that nothing came of it. Like they did not. Okay, he lost his job, that one job, and now your reward. I can't. So I was curious if you had watched it or if you had an opinion on it. The closest I came to any part of that is – Ariana Grande was some high pitched crazy person on um, on on like a show with a kitten cat something I don't know where they would Victoria Victorious, there are all these things yes they would they were they Is were they like there was some cat and Sam I think uh, yeah there were no dudes on this show it was just oh, I like that we're better. two girls living in an apartment somehow where we're not old enough to have an apartment like it made no sense and okay. you didn't really care it was you know that we would have that on from time to time and those were the days of um that little brown-headed girl who sells the cookies on despicable me um and she is uh had her own show she was a web personality her deal was like she was a web influencer is that amanda sings or no not her the really the name of the show was her character name and i don't remember what it is but miranda sings did i get yeah that wrong? miranda somebody miranda sings okay and they, she had like a tall goofy neighbor and all these others I that's where that's where cat and sam. um and sam they were a spinoff from that show so that's it that's the end of it and so it was all related because i think ariana grande was somehow um pre-diddled by this guy and then also you don't want to jump uh, right into a diddle you need a pre-diddle well then the guy that we all used to like we don't get to like anymore because he defended the fat curly haired guy in writing oh are you talking about ashton kutcher who is now coming on no what are you not ta- talking about Ashton? sure kutcher? but i know him better what he do he well he wrote that letter in defense of know. danny masterson who was caught doing lots of crazy things to women and is now in prison and his face came up again because he's been hanging out with P. Diddy and P. Diddy's going through something right now. Ashton cannot pick the right side or friend group for his life. He's I didn't know any of that. And I think I'm conflating these two horrible instances. I'm thinking of the guy who was on that jury show that I never ended up watching. Mars a lot did. of times he's a prince. Mars yeah. Did. yeah. He was like a superhero on some show with Fatso. And then um, he defended him. And now people are like, we can't have nice things with you now. So I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, Here's the one. thing. Here's the thing. Do you really need to defend anybody else? Do you really need to stand there and say, I can say unequivocally. Like if somebody's accused of some super horrible, horrible. shit. Yeah. Do you really want to be the one to say, he would I never know. do that. Right. He would never do that. I know what happened. I mean, you worked with him for, let's say you worked with him for four years. Did you, did you live in his house? Did you hang out with him 30, you know, 30 hours a week like do you really know this person uh, how many people who in your life would you defend if not saying I find it really upsetting it's it's not I never saw any of that behavior it's not what I would expect from him but at the same time now you're going to say you for I take his yeah. I take his side over someone else like it, it there's a way to say I support my friend because this is extremely shocking to me it's so shocking I have a hard time believing it he didn't exhibit Full any of this. Full stop. Full I don't stop. Have, right. Yeah, I don't have any evidence. Without this. saying he would never, I'm but putting my that's reputation very, that's on That's very it. different than saying he is falsely accused. This couldn't have happened. I mean, come on. Come on. And it, the whole thing's fucking gross. Okay. Come, How can you not control yourself? Come for a ride with me following that theory. What if it was your child? Who was the diddler? 
who you know my child would never like ha- have you ever said that in a, no in a special meeting in a principal's office or no a police it's, no I'm car? I'm the worst parent I always presume the child is at fault what did you when do? I'm told <laughs> when I'm told that some shit went down I'm like all right ain't nobody gonna make that shit up like whatever it is <laughs> you know if you if you said he wasn't where he's supposed to be I kind of believe you like, I don't think, poof, he was magically in the back of the class the whole time. Like, I don't, you know, you just didn't look hard enough. Like, I'm not that kind of, that said, crazy accusations deserve a careful response. Crazy, and by crazy, I don't mean that the accuser is crazy. No, the big ones, the are you I fucking mean, kidding me I'm accusations. using the word, I want to clarify what I mean by the word crazy. Astronomical, heavy, uh. Impactful, yeah. massive allegations deserve a careful, measured response. You can't jump too fast in any direction. You got to just let the shit play out. All right. That brings us to judging Amy, dear listeners. Last week I came to you, uh, really judge Amy. This is your courtroom. Last week I came to you with a case of a three-year-old boy who got behind the wheel of a truck and and who plowed into a two-year-old and killed her, and that two-year-old's mother said, I want justice. It's a real toe tap. And we were like, I don't know what justice would look like for this, and I have another case for Amy Justice over there. The likes of me. Yes. Yes. You're, for, by us, middle school is six, seven, eight. Is that the same by you? Sure. Who cares? Eighth graders, on the cusp of going to high school, have decided that they are going to be dicks because they're boys and this is what they do. If pre pre punching women in the face on the street, this is their mo. They decide to start TikTok accounts for their teachers at school, and without telling them, and they made them incredibly inappropriate. For example. Hi, I am a social studies teacher at McGrill uh, High School. And when these girls, I cannot wait for the seasons to change because I get a real hard on when girls come into school in short skirts and stop wearing those baggy pants. And I cannot wait for the crop tops and to dress code these girls. I cannot wait for the weather to change. Um, Pardon? Okay, so what are what are you requesting of me? Okay, wait, wait. So they create for several teachers this group uh-huh. of children yeah. Yeah. create TikToks that are devastating to careers of people who work with with children and there I just want to make sure I'm sharing the story of how really wild the irresponsible gross and disgusting this whole situation is. Great, great. So Little investigation. Ooh, the teachers did not make this. The principal gets involved and figures out. I, I, honestly, this is middle school. Those fuckers crumble like crazy, right? He did it. No, I didn't do it. She did it. Like, whatever it is. They know who did it. You bring them in. You bring in their parents. What my questions for you are, A, what does justice look like here? B, what do you do? Because I will tell you that it is considered free speech for them to do that. And it is not illegal. I, I'm going to push back on that right out of the gate. I'm also going to say I don't care. They're expelled, number one. Uh, the, every child involved in this is expelled for the year, for the rest of the year. If you'd like to come back and try again next year, we'll have you. In addition to expelling you, Without, well, we're a private school, so it's like, yes, and all the tuition that you've prepaid, you don't get back. So sorry and thanks and get out. Okay. The other thing that you're going to do is film and post and provide to us your recorded admission and apology that we will put on all of these accounts. And there will be some other punishment, but you are no longer affiliated with this school and you are going to right the wrong that you have done in defaming this teacher. And there's a question of, do we pursue defamation charges? Or would it be libel? No, it's defamation. Slander. It's slander. Slander. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. I am knee 100%. deep in this right now because I found this out. I'm no longer involved with any school district anymore. The only thing I do is work polls for elections, and that's it in this community. 
I got so fucking angry at these kids and people with whom I was speaking said, well, what are you going to do? You, this should ruin their lives. Yeah. Sorry. Are you fucking kidding me? They're it fr- should alter their here, lives. Wait, as, yeah. Sorry. Yes, it that's did. the answer. Um, Cause their it did. brains aren't even developed yet. They made a bad decision. Are you going to ruin their lives for this? And my answer yeah. immediately was yes. I don't know if it ruins, but it gives you an opportunity to completely reset any fucking where, but here, like this is wildly unacceptable. It is not criminal. I've studied this now and spoken to two lawyers. I don't even go to these schools anymore. I'd still push it. I'd st- I'd still push it. I'd still push it. It is. They said there's a civil case. There's false. For um, slander. Th- well, there's that. But then there's also impersonating someone else. So, I mean, I would go down that road. I would go down every legal avenue possible. And I would definitely enlist the parents in the punishment because and frankly, in the consequences. Okay, well, some of the parents were brought in and they said, my son would never do that. But your son has admitted to doing this. Your daughter has admitted to doing this. Not my, not my kid. And then it took the principal saying to this man, what if somebody did this to you at work? Right. Came into your work and represented you at whatever financial bullshit job you have that has supplied your $7 million home in this community, you fucking dick. And he was like, oh. Oh, now it makes sense because you – why isn't your first response to think of right from wrong, second response being what if it happened to me or anyone in my family? Like that was not a concern of his. Yeah, I alluded to former President Trump prior. You may cut the whole thing out. So if this doesn't make sense, I'm going to do it again and say – How many times in reporting surrounding that man have we said, if this was your child's teacher, if this was someone in the courtroom, the classroom, if this was a coworker of yours, would he still be employed? Would this person still be able to teach your kids or drive the school bus or attend uh, the club where you go with other people would have been kicked no out. No fucking way. And you have examples of, all of that. Of these, yes, for any and all of these offenses. But no, let's just whoop. Yeah, let's just look the other way. So yeah, I'm not. I'm not playing the look the other way. I know that it's harsh. I have. I heard tell of a kid making a really stupid decision as a senior, talking trash on social media about a uh, unbe- for no reason, talking trash about a competitive school. Um, and it turned racial in his trash talk, which was dumb. That's a super weird dog leg that tells Ex- me a lot about that kid and his parents. Yeah, well, it's what? like, well, because we've got we've got some some schools in the surrounding area here who have made national news for their racist social posts. So the culture of some of these schools, these kids, it's if it's happening enough and people are seeing it and the kids still walk free among us, then there's your answer. So when it happened again to this kid who was trying to do trash talk about basketball and really went in the wrong direction, he was expelled from his school. And the, I think the school notified the college where he had been accepted and they rescinded his uh, acceptance, if, I'm, if memory serves. I don't know this kid. But I'm just saying to you, at, at a certain point, yeah, shit has consequences. I'm sorry that you thought it was okay for you to use your privilege as a 10-year-old person to attack an adult in a way that clearly is wrong. And if not wrong, then I also look to the school to say, what are you teaching these kids if they think that treating anyone with this level of disrespect is okay? If their parents would think treating anyone with this level of public doxing, shaming, misinformation is in any way okay. I just don't even get it. Look what they see on the news. Look what they see. Why would they think, A, there are consequences for doing an action like this? And only B, for some people. Yeah. And B, There's only consequences for some people. They're, they're, I'm assuming, and this is my fault if it's not true, I'm assuming they're white males is what I'm assuming. And the world has shown them that they can punch women in the face, they can grab them by the pussy, they can do all the things, and there really are no repercussions. And what lit me up was the fact that they said it's not even criminal. They they could sue the teachers in a civil case outside of whatever, but they can't do anything about it. And that to me is so incredibly no unacceptable. Sense. They're not public figures. I don't get it. It's I don't so get it. unacceptable. 
and some of the teachers made their everything private. Stop blaming the victim. I'm sorry. Well, they had public shut your fucking mouth. They could have done it through AI and done the same thing. It's the action they took with malicious intent that needs them to be, as as Judge Amy has told us, uh, suspended from school, reapply next year. We'll see you then. We'll be happy to take your money then with an essay of apology of the lesson you've learned and and show me that you're not the overprivileged dickhead that did this. Like, I need more. And now I'm really grateful that my kids are not in that situation, but you're crazy if you don't think it's happening on a college campus too. Okay, speaking of college campus, I had a kid who went to Disney for a week for spring break. Yay! And asked to go back after dinner. It used to be they wanted to go back as soon as the dorms opened. I got to get back there. I'm like, that's great. We chose the right school. Now it's, I can wait till, at, like, let's have one more good meal with my parents and then head back. You know that. Your son brings gaggles I of kids know home it. for your cooking. It's not for my cooking. I bring in. Anyway, I bring, sorry, I send the spouse to drop her off at school I medicate for my nighty-nightness, and then I get a phone call after he leaves her, and she says, I forgot my keys at home, Ugh. So, and my roommate's not coming back until like 11 midnight or whatever. Great. So I don't even know where it is. We FaceTime around the whole house. After 20 minutes, I find the keys in the pocket of a jacket that she left behind on purpose. Great, great. I can't drive them down there. That's a DUI, and I'm not an idiot. So the next morning, of course, you don't sleep when you know you have something you have to do early in the morning. What if I don't get up? She's got to go to this office and class and keys. And great. I go. I drive down in the morning. I drop it off with her. And she said, uh, I really didn't sleep last night because there were mice in my room. She's calling them rats. But I think rats are sewer, right? Mice are above groundy smaller I, I don't none of this is good no, is the answer. oh none of it's good no 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 none of it's good so okay so she has she hears make the phone call matt the guy the maintenance guy comes and he puts down traps and then he leaves and almost immediately snap Ew. exactly thank you okay call matt um your trap is full so they moved the Second trap on the other side under my daughter's bed where the first one snapped because why have it anywhere but right under your pillow and snap again and she calls him. I'm sorry. I'm going to stop you immediately. <laughs> this is a university I where you went. I thought that these traps were inside the walls. You mean they just placed them out in the open because we have a scamperopedia all around the floor with rodent a go-go. Scatological evidence. Moving out. I'm moving out. <laughs> they threw out. The, I'm out. They, they threw out their rug. Um, so that's two. Matt. That rodent <laughs> was on your bed. He put his rodent feet and his ass <laughs> on your pillow. He rolled back and forth and <laughs> stuck his cheese addled whiskers all up Peanut in all over you. Whiskers. He took his nose and put it underneath your pillow, went under your sheets. He started nibbling on your cables, but not enough to die. That's gross. He touched your toothbrush with his feet and hands. <laughs> he did some ratatouille shit with your hair curlers. Ooh, he made the perfect bite. Mm, ratatouille. It's lightningy. It's not good. So two dead mice. Hey, Matt, he comes back. He takes the carcasses with him and he leaves, sets up two new traps. So that first night, she goes and sleeps at her sorority house. Uh -uh. Not at home. And she brings her roommate with her to the sorority house. Then the next night, which was last night, she comes back and immediately calls housing and says she does exactly what you want your children to do she was her own advocate and said what the fuck you need to put me somewhere else I can't be here there's an infant snap while she's talking to housing six they're up to six dead mice from this uh the traps that she had in there and she has found they threw out the rug for for pee and 
she they gave her another dorm room but this dorm room doesn't have air conditioning it doesn't have like it's not as nice as the amazing like situation she has now rat trap with mice (laughs) right so they think they're living in the walls and it's a whole thing so she's going to move her stuff meanwhile she's had two projects she needed to do and couldn't get done because she hasn't slept in two days and they were assigned while she was away on spring break keep going and she has a a job that she has to work today until five o'clock it is a fucking nightmare that she's going through so I'm writing how can I help can I call can I do what can I do for you and she said mom I always heard you say that you got really upset with these students whose moms called to school for them. And I <laughs> and I said, yeah, Mal, those were kids who said, I have a sniffle and I'm not going to class. And their mom called to say, Timmy won't be coming to class today because he has the sniffles. Or they argued your grade. That's your job. You have a job to do work and you've already self-advocated. Let mama do this one because I'm a bitch and you're nicer than I am. I, I'm going to own a piece of this school at the end of this. And she said, let me, let me, let me. So she is handling it. She has another room. I might go down tomorrow and just do washes off campus with her. This whole show. This whole show is gross. <laughs> This whole Maybe show. Maybe I'll just buy a new bed in a bag and remake a bed in the wow. new room. Wow. Uh-uh. So uh-uh. your alma mater is now an infest and is just, and how come it's just one room? She said they found an eaten um, Ritz cracker. I've never had a Ritz cracker before. My roommates never had one here. It came from somewhere else. They're I, living I, in our I room. Can, I can help you. I can help you. <laughs> What's it, his name? Burn it down What's and start name? over. Matt. Matt. Mike. Yeah, Matt. Matt is, Matt is the rat man. Is the rat man. Yeah. Okay. When you place a call to Matt and say, I think I heard scampering in my room. I'm not sure what to do or what it might be. And he shows up within 20 minutes with a trap you're not his first scamper call. Oh, okay? like he didn't come and listen and try to figure out what it was. He He's already heard this knows. He knows they where have, the Ritz came from. <laughs> he already knows the problem before you identified it. They've got this problem and have had it for some years and have the traps already purchased. He had six traps that he didn't have to source. So he's already got them. He's got a room full of traps waiting for this fucking phone call. He's got a system in place for how to deal with this specific request. He knew exactly where to go and what to do and how to abate it. This is old news to Matt. He didn't come back to get the second mouse until he finished treating another place for termites. Bingo. They know what's going is on. Is this whole they university know what's going on. crumbling to the ground before shit my eyes? Came, shit went up in 1769 or whatever the fucking year is of the university. I forget. 87, Sorry, I think. 1787. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, she, been, she bitch been there for a minute. Yeah. She been there for a minute. And the animals have found their way in and around and up and down all that good Delmarva clay. The what? The what did? You know who it is. Who is it? They come in there. Who? They deserve to learn as well. Who's the, who's the they in this sentence? It's a palace of learning. Is it the Amunals? I'm not. I'm not. I don't, I don't steal. I don't take. I don't take from nobody. Yes. Okay. Me and Matt, we got a system in place. She's, She's, this is not his first day at trapping. She spoke Let's just very highly of him because he rescued her from this situation. And then I thought. No, I didn't. He's heard this before. <laughs> What's yep. happening? He's got a trunk full of mice. Six. He knows he's, exactly he's up what's to six going carcasses on. Carcasses from her room alone. Um, yeah. I, I just I'm so disgusted. And she said, "What about all of my damaged stuff? The university had to have known about this. I want reimbursement." I said, "My sister-in-law, for whom she's currently working, is a personal injury attorney." <laughs> and I said, "You've been working for your aunt too long. <laughs> Let's just get you into a safe." healthy place and then we'll deal with this later what do you do i gotta get her out of there yeah it's almost over she's a senior no she's she's almost done (laughs) she started last year yeah next year is her junior year and she will be graduating next year that's 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 what i'm saying Yeah. yeah She has one more year, but she has seven weeks left in that room. And I said, not that room. (laughs) No, no, not that room. We got to get you out of there. A mouse a week. Yeah. No. Ew. 
Ew is ew. 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 I, ew. I, I, I talked to my son in Australia. He said, why doesn't she just come home and commute for the last seven weeks? Because she has a car. She can gross. get to campus. Two days a week, she works from home anyway. And her, no. ugh, gross is right. That's not going to happen because she got involved in a sorority and they have, what, Greek sing, dance, flip. I don't even remember that bullshit. Greek God. All the things. Yeah. All right, Amy. You yes, didn't ma'am. understand the rules to some situation. <sighs> How did your life go so wrong? What happened? Well, I thought that I was doing roll wall on roll wall on the New York Times. Uh, Puzzles. Ga- games area. Okay. Okay. So somebody turned me on. I don't know who it was. Turn me on. Could have been you, but I but I could have found I could have found it and then said, Oh no, no. Uh, my my son's girlfriend was telling me about it, connections. And I tried it one time and I thought, Oh, this is good. And then they have a whole games area and I thought, Y'all, y'all pretty good. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna do this. Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get sucked into your Love whole it. business. So now I'm doing it. I'm a subscriber to the New York Times games area. They have many games. Six ninety nine a month for the rest of your life. And they open up daily. And it's good. It's actually they're they you feel like you're making your brain work a little same, harder. Same, same, I love it. It's not bad. It's not a bad thing. For as bad as it is, it's not a, to pay for something. It's not a bad thing. Okay. And if you already have a subscription, whatever. So that's where that was. Connections is a word game where a, a grid of seemingly disconnected words are aligned next to each other. And you are to select in groups of four words that have connections to each other. It's that simple. It's great. And so, and there's a new puzzle once a day. So you only get one shot. Uh, and there's something like you get four errors. You can do make four errors and then you're blocked out. So if you haven't solved it in the four errors. So here's the thing. I was impressed with myself because the first time I played this game, I solved it without any errors. And they call and that thought, perfect. Good. And I thought that's pretty good, right? And so then the next day it came up and I did it again. And I thought that's that's feels good. I'm and then smart. I was doing, yeah. but I couldn't I wasn't registering on any stats. I wasn't on a leaderboard. I didn't couldn't see how I could share it. All these things. So that was a little weird. But everybody on TikTok getting bent out of shape, how they couldn't figure it out, talking about what the connections was. And I'm like, that wasn't the connection. I got the connection today. I know what it like. They were talking about it in a way where I'm like, how could you be so wrong? Because I've already solved it. And it wasn't what you said. OK. After about a month of this, I learned that, in fact, I had been doing connections by solving one group of four and exiting the game, which is not how you play. Wait, no, no. You had all rows when you sent it no, to me. No, I exited. I, I would solve, and it would give me a color. There are, there are four options to Correct. win. You solve, solve, let's say you solve. Yellow, green, solve, blue, and purple. Yellow, green, blue, and purple. And whatever order you solve them in, the color goes from easy to hard, right? So some days I would get a purple. Some days I would get a green. And I didn't understand what any of the colors meant because I would solve one group of four and then quit the game and think I had won. What? And I was doing that for a month. So I had never, if you're listening, I had never completed any of the games. (laughs) Because in each game, you're supposed to do it three more times. Correct. So that you have all four groups of four Correct. instead of and one group of four. And it gets easier and easier because you've eliminated four so items. So I thought, I'm why am I so stupid? Because <laughs> I keep getting it and I don't have any. I mean, I, it is pretty good that every time I did it, I would not have an error. Right. So I could I could at least get one group. But then I never even attempted beyond that. And then when you could and Melissa keeps sharing them with me and the grid didn't make any sense. I finally somehow figured it out. And I was like, that's why you couldn't share it because you didn't. Because it wasn't done. Oh, my God. You're like, I'm like, it says share your results right there when you're done. You're like, I don't have that. So now that I figured it out on April Fool Day. Oh, that fucking wanted, sucked. <laughs> then they wanted to do one with pictures instead of words. And I couldn't get any of them. I couldn't get a single grouping. I used all four uh, hints or whatever, not even hints, tries. Yeah, yeah. And I, my first failure and I failed hard. Hard. I failed hard, so hard. But now I'm back on top. Yeah. The and I April did it today Fools and I one. got all four and it's correct and I didn't use any errors, whatever. So The April Fool's one was hard because of the pictures where your brain sees an emoji and it doesn't say the name of the emoji. So if you see a bat, you just see a picture of wings and you don't hear in your head bat because you didn't read it. So you almost have to write them all down on your own new grid to get them all right. But it's not that it was difficult. It just was difficult in that 
your brain had an extra step to do, which my brain was grateful for because I'm losing my mind. I go, I do Wordle. I do great on Wordle. I do connections. I do pretty good on connections now that I know what I'm doing. And I do, <laughs> I do spelling bee, yeah. which has nothing to do with spelling, but I do spelling bee and I do exceptionally well on that. Uh, that one I get to all possible answers every single day that I've done it. And I love it. It's very good. And that's, it gives you a grid of seven letters. How many words can you make out of these seven letters? And you can and repeat has, them. So that's good. You can repeat them. It must include one of the seven the letters. The middle guy. But then that's it. And it's it's just addicting fun. And it's very, very good. Ready so for I, the new one that's not on the app yet, but is online? She sent it to me and I tried it today and, and I have already won it. Yeah. yeah, I think that's okay. I don't know that I like today it Today was much. a good one because it was easier. But when they had one in French and I don't, A, no French words or ho, ho, ho. know where yeah. the O's and the I's go or the, t- I, I, that's not for me. Like, I don't see. I like Letterboxd if you play Letterboxd. Sure. That's a, that's an easier version. Not easier. It's a, my brain uh, lights up better when I play Letterboxd and says, instead of connecting um, words in a grid, you're connecting them using like string lines. It's hard to describe. Dear you listener, our our demographic is really our age. Are you doing something to preserve your brain, to preserve what you've got going on? Are you feeling something slip? Could you do me a favor and drop us a line and let us know what you are doing? Are you playing these games? Are you doing other things, taking a supplement? What could help Amy's skin? I mean, could you please write us at brilliantobservations at gmail.com? Go to us on Facebook in Brill Ob Squad or just Brilliant Observations. Join our group. Let us know what you're doing to keep your brain together. If you have a row of supplements you take and you want to take a picture, go to Listen Brilliant on Instagram and show us your morning, afternoon, and evening routines of supplements you take to keep yourself spry and bright as hell. I'm thinking now that we talked earlier about you and supplements and things, and it wasn't on the podcast, so I might need to take that little piece about your skin out. <laughs> Sorry. No, I think, no, I got, I, when I went and did not steal at the Taj Mahal Teeter, I think oh, it was okay, good. cream, <laughs> okay, so we're, good. Still, we're still covered. <laughs> but I need that cream. I need that cream because my skin all crazy scaly, and I'm tired of the scaly, scaly, scaly. And if you guys are doing the TikTok trifecta, I'll let you look it up. If you're doing the trifecta, just tell us if it's successful because I don't want to waste my time if it's not. So many of those things are damaging and false. There but, was a, you know, pan- you than me. What's the panoxyl? There's like a an acne face wash. And I'm afraid to say this out loud because I'm knocking on my forehead for luck. But um, I don't so much have that like huge acne problem anymore. Not, like, you know, it came back in adulthood every time you get your period whatever you get a massive zit I don't really have that but TikTok taught me that this panoxyl thing was uh used on your armpits and you let it sit there Mm -hmm. it's like a soap but you lather it on your armpits and you let it sit for a few minutes like a mask and it kills all of the bacteria that causes any odor whatsoever so if you put this on in the shower do everything else and then wash it off I'm guessing you don't need to wear deodorant anymore. And for people who are looking to wear a satin or silk dress and not have a, an issue with white stains on your black T-shirt, I, I honestly feel like all of my T-shirts are black. So if I could avoid that little white stripe on the side from deodorant, I'm a big fan. If that stops all of the smell, and the that would be great. I would love that. Summer's coming, and... Stop being a stinky hoe. How do I test it, though? Do I just go ahead, you do this, and then work out like a fucking fiend and then make people sniff me? Like, what do you do? How do you test it? I don't know that your idea is to drive it to failure. I think that you just (laughs) want to use it, right? But how do you test it? How do you push the boundaries? I, I don't know that that's your concern. If you do it and it's effective, then you should be happy. How do you know it's effective unless you really... Because people don't come up to you and make this face. You know the one this, where it's like, oh, I smell fart. Somebody face. got some eggs or like a big old, you know, I don't even know what air biscuit. What do we call farts? Somebody you walk up and they're like, hey, sulfur, how are you? Air biscuit. It's, just, it's disgusting. OK, so are you ready for the closing of our show with 30 seconds with Amy? As I open Holy it. shit. Stopwatch. 
Amy, in the next 30 seconds, tell me as many euphemisms for the word fart as you can think of. Go. Oh, Jesus. Poot. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh, flatulence. Um, toot. Um, poof. Uh, uh, oh, golly. I don't know. Who's, what's, who did you just fart? Did you just butt burp? Did you just, um, queef? That's a front fart. That's okay. We're good. That's 30 seconds. I don't know. There aren't any. It's a fart. A, you have a flatulence. Fart, or a you toot, fart. A foof, a uh, a escape of toxic fumes, euphemisms, euphemisms, you don't, woman. You don't know anymore. That's why, because there aren't very many for farts. And egg trail. It's just farts. Uh, what? That's nauseating. <laughs> well, what is a fart? <laughs> An egg trail? <laughs> that sounds like you've got stuff coming out in a string. Okay. We have all learned that you never trust a fart after the age of 49. Girl, that's too much. I'm just saying... Look, Come it on wouldn't now. be our show if we didn't hit poo at some point. That was, I gave you credit for five. I don't know. I think you stroked out at the beginning of it. So I was going to give you more time, but. <laughs> yeah, we're the middle schoolers when we need them, right? They're, They're too, too busy, busy TikTok. creating yeah. TikTok accounts that are wildly inappropriate. Oh, if you think I'm not going to send an email or actually call the woman who told me about this to say, okay, suspension is your first. And then after suspension comes hanging them by their toenails. Ooh, I have good news. My toenails in- growing back. Hey, hey, just in time for summer. Just in I'm so time excited for, for you. She's coming welcome. back. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. And the gross part is I left the old one in Australia. <laughs> oh, my God. What? This is why you tip in a hotel room, Amy. This is why it's important to tip. Did your in a toenail hotel room. fall off again? In- That's too long. <laughs> That's too long. The answer is no. Let me help you. That's too long. If you have to think about an answer, the only answer is no. It eventually fell off. It's This is the same struggle why? I've been having since I dropped I thought, the iPad. So you don't get to have a toenail now? This is why you can't have nice things. No, this is why I can't have a toenail is because I own an iPad. Those, that shit's fucking heavy. It has all the capabilities of this here laptop. It's and never... Still- <laughs> So, so you you know, just don't get to have a toenail now. It's not going to grow back. No, it's it's, co- it's complete- coming back. That was my good news. She's back. She's coming. But she fell off in Australia. She did. But she was so covering means- growth. She was covering other other growth. It's good stuff. Dear listener, I am so sorry. What are you, a snake? I don't even understand how you're trying to say this. I am That's a snake. That's not how it works. I am a snake. Toenails don't just, don't just leap off your body. They start and stay. Yeah. There's no going away. I had a trauma. She got angry, she bled, and she tried to jump off. And I said, you stay where you fucking are until that good guy comes in. So that's what we're working on now. I don't know. Good things. I don't know. Only this good might be things. a job for Matt and his traps. You got to get some shit coordinated. Well, it's in Australia. So I'm going to be honest. If there's a crime and they find, like, DNA that belongs to me in Australia, CSI Sydney, <laughs> they're going to right. find it. I didn't do it. I was very good when I was there. The murderer's toenail was left at the scene. And it was unhappy. It was a very unhappy toenail. (laughs) Dear listener, thank you for turning us on. I hope uh, the toenail conversation did not turn you on. (laughs) For real. (laughs) For For real. real. Or the dead dead mice. Or the the underarm. Or the underarm failure. Or the sugar. (laughs) There was no sugar this time. It's surprising, too, because of the Easter. Sugar. You did that to yourself. Dear listener, turn over a new toenail hit in us, this house. Well, well, hit us up and tell us everything. Can you do that for me? Can you fucking do that for me? Hit us up and tell us everything. We love you and hope it is. Uh, oh, wait, I got to tell you something oh, good. No. I just heard the dog snoring. No. Nope. So my husband took the dog outside yesterday. And you know how these crackers came and ruined my whole woods and everything. Yes. What you may not know is there's now a gigantic um, house directly behind us so close that when you walk out onto our back porch drinking your coffee you're standing at eye level with a man standing on the roof who you don't have to raise your voice to talk to him because he's that fucking close he's just on the other side of the fence if he wanted to jump off the roof he would land in my yard it's awful they're very fucking close we knew it was happening but you know them don't you isn't that weird no 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 money 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 so we do know people in there if you happen to be rich 
our neighbors on the other side, so the neighbors on the one side have houses behind them like we do, a fence and houses, very sad. On the other side, they got the reservoir. They built, it was, you weren't able to build there right. because there was already a creek and everything else. They used that as the water runoff. Do you know how these Absolutely. developments always need yes. one? Absolutely, yes. And you always, so when they, it rains, worry about the kids playing in it because So they put danger. in a giant bubbler. And got it. So, but that's, so there's basically this huge lake size shit behind their house, which is also, you could see it from our house. So we get the frogs, you get the noise, all the things. Well, I'm telling you, my husband went out with yesterday, as you do, and was chatting with the neighbor, as you do. And our dog decided that ducks were in the pond or lake. And guess where he went? Bounding down the freshly red, uh, non-grown Clay. earthen hill yeah, yeah. directly into the reservoir God, to get them kidding. fucking ducks. Harbor, 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 all the way in. Can he swim? Sure, he's a lab. All the way in. Does he all know he can across. swim? Like, do you swim him? I, I think he was more interested. He didn't even want to eat them fucking ducks. He just wanted to play, which is a mistake. I'm like, okay, you got to kill the ducks. You're, you're a bird dog. You're supposed to be angry with the birds and kill them. It's like, but they're fun and they like to play. I'm like, they don't want to play with you. They're mean and they don't like you. You got to just understand your limits. So he, So all I know is I'm in the house doing my thing. All of a sudden, my husband's standing on the porch with a sopping wet dog right next to my white porch furniture. Oh, yeah. Getting ready to do a shake. And he goes, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need a towel. <laughs> and I, I said, I'm looking at him through the glass. And I'm like, you're going to need more than that. You're going to need more than that. I'm okay. going to need signatures on these divorce papers right here. First of, all, I need. first of all, so then I come back with a towel. Left them on the porch, both of them, for a minute just to cool down. Then I came back because I had the shit locked. Like, you're staying out. Then I thought, okay, here we go. I said, were you just not watching him or did he get away from you? And he didn't really directly answer, but he did say this. He saw ducks. And that was the end of that. (laughs) Okay. So I put the dog, sopping wet, happiest dog you've ever seen in your life, grinning so hard. He did that crazy smile where all the teeth are showing and the tongue is out and I don't have enough. I can't get enough air to my body quick enough from panting, right? That makes drip, me happy because he's dirt, getting dirt, old. Dirt, I want him to be happy. Filled with, with red clingy globs of dirt stuck in the matted hair already. Right into right? your bathroom shower. Right. I put the leash on him. I walked him in. Well, first of all, I changed my clothes. I put the leash on him. I walked him into our bathroom. I walked him and then I got into the shower myself. Stood there in the shower because we have a handheld. I didn't even bother putting him in the tub. There's no chance, right? He just jumps out of that shit. I lured him in there with treats. I stood in there and I washed him. The way I did it was basically I took a double shower with the dog. It was on me the whole time. So I just stood under the path until he got comfortable. It's nice and warm. I'm getting wet. I was just in the lake. Water's okay. Mom's in here. There's treats in here. It's just soap. So on and on and on and on. Shake, 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 shake. On and on and on. on. Shake, 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 shake. I have never been more wet (laughs) than if I fell off the Titanic. I've never been this wet from washing this damn dog. But he smells so good. He smells so sweet. He can't believe he went after the ducks. It wasn't the worst thing in my life. We've showered him with a hose. We've put him in the... We've given up on this long ago. He's a seven-year-old dog. And if I had known all it takes is a couple of treats and some nice words of encouragement and the fact that I have to turn into a sopping mess, why am I not doing this every week? All the time, yeah. That's pretty good. So he's over here living his best life. Happy Easter. I love that picture because I know he's aging and I know these purebred labs, they live to like eight before cancer punches you in the face. And if you live longer, it's a fucking miracle. And I love it. You hear that, bud? <laughs> She's got your clock ticking. Times are numbered. Pure, Jesus, pure girl. Purebred dogs. Purebred dogs. That's why my future is that much. pure. I mean, I know he is, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> He's Carolina pure. Ain't that pure. All right. We're good. We'll be fine. You made me really it's, nervous with the phrase Carolina pure. I'm just trying to say. I'm trying to say. Is that like is. Lancaster pure? Uh, he's 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 fine. He's got his air quotes papers. Okay. But, I mean, he's he's emphasis on the yellow as part of a yellow lamp. Amy. Meeting the color of him. Amy, yes, I could what? talk yes. to you for three more days, but we do have to wrap this up. You act like you won't do it. But you will. But I will. Thanks for listening. We love you. Bye. Bye.